Move it, move it, move it, slowly, slowly, move it, move it, nice and slow, move it, move it, move it, nice and easy, nice and easy, slow it down, keep going, keep going, got it, pull, let him go, go. Good job. Woo! Here comes Jeff. Very nice. Have you heard about Stevie Kim Rubel, uh, about the young fly fishing phenom? You know, the girl that caught jungle tarpon weighing nearly as much as she weighed, and at the ripe old age of 10? The, the one that started fishing with her dad, Daniel, at the age of two, and by the age of 12, had caught her first permit on fly? You haven't heard of her? Well, you're about to. Da, 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 da. Here comes a jump, here comes a jump. Here comes a jump. Now hit him with the rod again. Hit him with the rod. Good girl. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Woo! Keep going slow. Here he comes. Keep going, keep going slow. Keep going. Got him. Pull. Let him go. Nasty. Nasty, buddy. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Nice job. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, that's insane. That is... <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> my God, this thing. Oh, my God. Got four. Yeah, baby. Nice fish. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Full grown adult calls me and asks me he wants to come down and fly tarn fish. Uh, you're already kind of skeptical, but then all of a sudden you get the phone call that a, a kid, a 13 year old girl, wants to come down and try this or do this. You know, you have your you have your thoughts about this, you have your doubts, you know. But after looking on her Instagram and, and seeing what this this young woman has done, I was so ready for the the challenge, so ready to get her out there and see what she is capable of doing. Fly fishing burns brightly in Stevie's soul, and she's been mentored by some of the most remarkable ladies and men in fly fishing. Heidi Newt, Alex Woodson, and Meredith McCord have all figured prominently in Stevie's life, as has the legend himself, Mr. Bernard Lefty Cray. Stevie was the first kid inducted into BTT's Youth Ambassador Program, and by the age of 12, she could already call herself a world-traveling angler. But this budding career as an angler began as an inquisitive little girl, guided by a loving and caring dad on the fabled trout streams of New York's beautiful Catskill Mountains. What follows is the story of the ever remarkable Stevie Kim Rubel, the 90 pound girl they call the Tarpinator. Whoa, what are you doing? Just doing the Tarpon call, girl. You sound like my dog. Stevie, I'm not making this stuff up. This coming straight, straight direct order from the chief himself down in Belize. He was doing this all the whole day, just throwing out these, these, these commands to his guy and just putting his arm out. I'm show over here. We go over there, there's fish everywhere. I'm not becoming a believer. So Stevie, you're 13, huh? Yeah. And how long have you been fly fishing? Since I was six, so Since for seven years. Six. Yeah. Wow, and mostly freshwater though. Uh, no, I started saltwater fishing when I was nine. And that's true, sure, like the stripers and... Stripers and albies in New York and Montauk. And then a tropical trip to Belize. And then later Cuba and Mexico and the Keys. Stevie, you have accomplished something that grown men have been trying their whole life. I see those ones there. Their whole life to do. Right there. Go to the right side of it. Go on, keep going. Right there, girl. There you go. Take 
tick, tick. Nice and a little slow. Bump, bump. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, keep going. Keep going faster. 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 There you go. There you go. Long strips. All right. <laughs> keep them tight, that's all. He's a tiny one. I like it though. Here, I'll help you with your line to get it all in behind there. there. Keep him tight and I'll pull up with your tip. See if he comes up jumping there. Strip down. Isn't it funny, Stevie, how the little ones are the ones, you know, we're looking for a bigger fish. We have them. You're doing great. You're doing everything right. You're hooking them. And then all of a sudden, they all just somehow come off, but then <laughs> the small little guy decides to stay on, right? The, which is usually the hardest one to hook. You can strip right down to his face. You can strip right down. Oh, that's how you gotta start the day, right? You gotta st start the day with something. Pull straight up, straight up. You might do a little jump. It's probably gonna get me all wet right here. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. I was just trying to get my hands wet. We got one. Yeah! We got one. Oh, we have one. <laughs> <laughs> hug, hug right in the tongue. Beautiful little five pound fish. Very cute. Right? Look at that. Look at the colors. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, this one count for a release in your women's tournament. No. But you know what? It's a relief for us today. See if you can give us a little, little morning shower there. Here, you want to release your fish? Yeah. Put down. Down. Perfect. Oh, never mind. Back. Never mind. Hey. Good job, Got girl. Him. All right, let's go get a bigger one. Yeah. Woo! You know what I, what I liked about right there when you're going? Because I did the same thing. You wet, you wet, wet your hands first before you touch the fish. Yeah. I saw you do that. It's awesome. That's great. Hey, we got one. We got one. Cute little guy. We need to get 20 pounders, but we'll take whatever we can get these days. Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Maverick Boats, Fish the Legend, Yamaha, Reliability Starts Here, by Sea Deck Marine Products, your boat deserves Sea Deck, and by Able Reels, crafted for chaos. Stevie, we have officially got our first tarpon together as a team. Yeah. A giant one at that. I mean, absolutely <laughs> massive. I couldn't believe I was watching you pull on that thing and the sweats were pouring out and I know. You battled it for you know the whole five five minutes. That was pretty close to a world record. I mean it was very close. Very close to a world record and, and you're welcome. You're welcome for that. No one would think that you could teach a six-year-old how to fly cast for trout much less think that a nine-year-old would be ready to go out, you know, on the water in a boat in 20 mile per hour winds, you know, fishing for anything on the ocean. And it was her again who said, I want to do this. She was inspired by Heidi Newt. She was inspired by Silver Kings, the show. And, you know, it's kind of borderline ridiculous to think that a nine-year-old should be doing this. I mean, we live in New York City. We don't, she didn't grow up on the water. She didn't have kind of exposure that kids down here in the Keys have. And again, I sort of said to her, sure, if you're interested, I'll, um, let's, let's see. But you have to understand that this is not something you just show up and do. Um, she's like, I get that. That's never how I approached fly fishing in general. You know, what do we need to do? And so I said, well, first you need to learn how to double haul. And um, she's like, okay, well, let's learn how to do that. She got a practicaster, one of those yarn uh, short rods that you can do inside and proceeded to teach herself. Um, she pulled down our chandelier in the process, but uh, she taught herself how to double cast, double haul. So it was her that was kind of demonstrating that she had the capability and was willing to learn and grow and work at it. Um, you know, nowadays we talk about this concept of growth mindset. 
the idea that you should always be growing and as adults you forget that you know you come to realize that that's a quick way to start dying real fast and uh, if you're not always challenging yourself to do new things to move past frustrating moments to think about new angles on a tough situation that's just all part of life and she has that natural ability to kind of um, internalize that and say that's the fun of it it's the journey it's the process it's being in the moment dad it's like well why are you getting so frustrated about that that's just life you're going to figure out a way through it or that's part of the experience there you go there you oh, go Woo! good job good job they're getting bigger see see how, see how i said you know first one's five pounds and then i just upgrade you quadruple the size I went up 500%. Real, real, real. I know it's the opposite hand you're used to, but fighting like you've been fighting it for your whole life. I have. That's it. <laughs> Last minute, like, hey, there you go. Real down to it. This one doesn't want, like, like seeing me, I'll tell you that. Does not like to see Does not like seeing me. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Beautiful size fish. I got her now. Look yes. at that. Stevie, beautiful fish, girl. How big do you think that is? Probably 20 pounds. You know, on a seven weight, that's a beautiful fish. See how yeah. it's starting to get that thick, you know, down here. Beautiful colors. Good size mouth on her now. But let's go ahead, and she was great to us. I'm going to let you release your fish. Okay. Okay. So the fly is out. Why don't you drag that fly up, Rod, just so it doesn't come back and hook her again. I want you to come down here. We'll just lift her up just a little bit to show. Okay. Beautiful. There you go. You got her? Okay. And then you get down. You got her. I'm going to get a little lower. There. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> yes. oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, we did that it. That was awesome. Yes. You know what's so, so cool is it just shows how healthy that fish is. She kicked off after a great fight. That was awesome. Silver Kings is brought to you by the Bonefish and Tarpon Trust, bringing science to the fight. Sweetwater Brewing Company, where there's water, there's Sweetwater. Yeti Coolers, built for the wild. Isla Morada, the sport fishing capital of the world. And by Patagonia, fly fishing apparel and gear. Located smack dab in the middle of Isla Mirada, the Islander Resort is a Keys classic. And not only are its beautiful oceanside grounds a feast for the eyes, they're home to the Florida Keys Discovery Center. The Keys have a unique and oh-so-colorful history, and no visit is complete without a tour of this treasure trove of Keys lore. This is a one-of-a-kind facility in all of the Upper Keys. It's a great place to learn about the fantastic history, and we're here to tell all kinds of stories, from Flagler's Railroad to the Overseas Highway to the first communities that developed. We are located on the grounds of the Islander Resort, a Guy Harvey outpost at mile marker 82. The building was constructed with the intent of, of creating a museum of the Upper Keys. It's the place to come if you want to learn surprising history of, of the Florida Keys. Indian Key is my love. It's my favorite island in all of the Florida Keys. In the 1830s, it was a thriving wrecking village. The wreckers were the guys going up and down the reef, salvaging the ships that had wrecked. The history there is fantastic. And one of the most exciting things that I've done here at the museum is I was able to create a, a model of how Indian Key would have looked in the 1830s, showing all the buildings. It was an amazing, thriving wrecking village. It is a hidden gem of the Florida Keys. We're here, we're building, we've been open just over three years. We're gonna have the premier location of, of, of history gathered under one roof. There is an enormous amount of history and we're here to tell those stories. And, uh, oh, hey, you did it. Okay, you do it first and then I'll do it all after. Right, a little, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the, I'll do the left side, you're gonna do the right, okay? Okay. I'll see you later over here. 
and go in the, in the weeds and a little pipe fish and you're just gonna talk and go roll the shit, shit, like, like, go now, now, go, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got my left sides all done. I got needlefish, pipe fish, I got them all going up. All right. If this ends up in the episode. Just, you gotta call them in, I'm telling you. I am learning and growing always. And I think what's unique about this sport, unlike others, is that it's literally impossible to know everything. You will, even the best guides who are on the water every single day will not know everything there is to know about tarpon fishing. And so there's always something to be learned. Something different in your cast, something different in how you strip the fly, whatever it is, you learn every single day. And if you're not open to learning, the sport is not for you. Keep going, keep going, down, pull. Let them go, girl. Good job, good job, keep them tight, keep them tight. Now hit them with the rod again, hit them with the rod. Good, oh, that's what I'm talking about. Woo! Keep them tight. Real, real, real. Here we go, here comes the jump, here comes the jump. Very nice. No, 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 Mike, come on, jump and just pull up. Mike, come jumping, Mike, come jumping. There you go, nice and steady right there. Here comes the jump, keep pulling, keep pulling. Here comes the jump. Oh, and the fly's back at us. <laughs> hey, good job. You got him in the leader. Break the wrist, walk away. Silver Kings is brought to you by Smith. The experience is everything. The Islander Resort, Isla Morada's luxury oceanside experience. Thomas and Thomas handcrafted fly rods. That's a bite. Simrad chart plotters and Florida marine tracks. Clarity and navigation and by Angler House Marina and Grand Slam Flies. And now, a minute from our conservation partner, the Bonefish and Tarpon Trust. My name is Dr. Andy Danilchuk, and I'm a professor at the University of Massachusetts in Amherst, and I'm also a BTT research fellow. The acoustic telemetry project that we've been doing on Atlantic Tarpon really focuses in on understanding how they're using space, how they're using the coastline, and when they're making those key migrations. Um, you know, if you talk to a lot of the guides in the Keys, they're always talking about, you know, f fish that move and migrate to the Keys between, you know, sort of February, March, April, they're down here for the tarpon season. It's when the focus is on the Keys and everybody's fired up about the Silver King. And then all of a sudden, they, they start to migrate and move, but how far do they move? When do they move? And how does that movement pattern ultimately affect how we manage tarpon, you know, not within the state of Florida and then beyond? And so we've been putting acoustic transmitters in Atlantic tarpon. We surgically implant the transmitters. They're relatively small and they have a long battery life. And this provides us a huge, with a huge advantage because it means we can track the same individual from year to year to year and across large spatial scales. Because of the size of the transmitters, we can put them in much smaller fish than what, you know, the, than what the satellite tags have been put on. And that gives us a much bigger, broader picture about what the entire population is doing. Some of the data that we've collected so far is just like blowing our minds because we're seeing some smaller individuals, you know, 40, 50 pounds that we think really wouldn't migrate very far, do some pretty vast migrations. Um, we've had some tarpon that were tagged in the Florida Keys uh, make their way up the east coast of Florida, past the Carolinas, all the way up and detected near Virginia. And yes, we might be able to protect them really well in one state, and then all of a sudden they're exposed to threats in another state. And so that knowledge really feeds into the application of information to really positively affecting change about how we manage tarpon populations. Who needs to be around the table to have a discussion about how we protect the Silver King, not only for our generation, but for future generations. To learn more, visit BTT.org. Strip, 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 keep going. Move it, 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 move
Keep it going. Let him go. Hit him one more time with the rod. Hard. See you soon. Here comes a jump. Here comes a jump. Woo! Awesome job. Keep pulling. Here comes a jump. Oh. We tar fishing. Here comes a jump, almost. Here comes a jump. Look at that little mustache, huh? Little mustache. Reel down. Reel right to your face. There you go. Turn to the left. There you go. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. She says no. No. Oh. <laughs> Good job. Good job. That was awesome. Bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. That's turfing, they say.